So in other words, it's easy to look at somebody who's struggling and say, boy, I wonder what they did. Do you remember when Katrina hit? And all these great preachers are saying, well, I'll tell you why Katrina hit. Because they sin in New Orleans. And if you've ever been to New Orleans, you know they sin in New Orleans. But you know where else they sin? Bowling Green, Kentucky. And so if God's handing out hurricanes for sin, we deserve one too. And so does everybody else. We don't look at somebody who's been struggling and say, well, I wonder what they did. That's not how it works. Does sin have logical outcomes and consequences? Of course. But it's not our job to say, well, you're facing this outcome. I wonder what you did. No, God warns against this. In Romans 12, verse 3, Paul writes, For by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think of yourself more highly than you ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. Do not think of yourself more highly than you ought. And we all have this temptation, don't we? Those people are wrong, and I'm right. And God commands us not to do that. 